Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Thursday the 19th of May 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. So, my wonderful friends, we will start with an inspirational message from Chakra Love. Raise your crystal vibrations. Here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Thursday the 19th of May 2022? Okay, and today's inspiration is Root Chakra, Smoky Quartz, Strength. Strength comes from your connection to the root of your being and of course um, root chakra uh, where we do our grounding so another message from spirit another reminder how important it is that we are are grounding not only daily um, but 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 through the day I am also hearing okay so smoky quartz going to be helping you out today strength strength comes from your connection to the root of your being so, any problems or issues today, you are going to be getting to the root of those. Okay, so let's see what fabulous message Spirit has for us for today. Oh. And here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Thursday the 19th of May 2022? What do my wonderful friends need to know? From the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. What is the message from Spirit? What do my wonderful friends need to know? Thank you. <laughs> okay. One. And that is another one. What do my wonderful friends need to know? Thank you. Okay. And you are going there. So your cards for today are the king of coins um king of pentacles well back again okay <clears throat> followed by the seven of wands and following with the four of swords okay your first card is the king of coins the colour on the card is the colour purple. Um, this is uh, your crown chakra. Um, we have two crown chakras uh, and the green is heart chakra. So we're working on root, crown and heart chakra. So the king of coins, well, kings collectively, they're powerful, accomplished, they are successful, um, they are responsible, responsible for their kingdom and the people within their kingdom. And the king of coins, well, kings, they are um, master energy. Um, and this king uh, has mastery over uh, his finances uh, his assets, uh, materialism, um, anything that is serving him in, in the material world, in the physical world. 
and he's also mastered uh, manifestation so he really um he attracts uh, money to him um But also, I feel he's a generous um, energy um, and he really understands the, um, and I'm thinking of the six of uh, coins or the six of um, earth pentacles. Coins is the element of earth. So again, more of this grounding and staying grounded. Um, but he has mastered uh, manifestation. He understands uh, how money, uh, magnetising money to him um, from um the giving and receiving uh, energy. Um, he's not a miser. Uh, he is generous um, and he's generous with his assets, with his finances, um, with anything that he's that it is serving him materialistically. Wise, I am hearing. Wise. He is a wise king. <laughs> he is in his crown chakra. Uh, and the colour purple and the crown chakra uh, can resent, uh, can represent, thank you, I really lost that word then, it just totally <laughs> disappeared from my mind, can represent royalty, uh, nobility, power and luxury. Um, it's also about wealth and extravagance. Um, but he's there's a devoted well the color purple also represents uh, the word devotion um and he has really devoted uh, his time which is why he he, he is a master at, at this energy uh he's been focused uh, setting his intention uh purple also the color of mystery so he does understand the mystery um okay moving on <clears throat> excuse me we have next the seven of wands oh, so seven the number of spirituality the number of magic um it's the number of it's also research being being diligent um It's also ambition I am hearing. And so the Seven of Wands. Um, this is seeing you standing tall, standing strong, standing for what you believe in. Uh, again, this is your crown chakra. So uh, you are truly devoted, devoted to your path, your journey. Um, you are... Hmm. I'm hearing the words know thyself um, and this is the, where you are putting your devotion um, more on you, the self, getting to know you, getting to know all of the aspects of you, um, again getting to know uh, and being more comfortable with the shadow part of yourself. Um, Another word that is coming, friends, is the word independent or independence. Um, so I do see you being more independent, less looking to others, less looking to others for their advice. You understand now that any advice anyone gives you, they would factor in their own um understandings learnings and experience and you know that this journey is about getting to know you so standing strong standing tall having a sense of <sighs> pride having a sense of pride uh, in yourself oh wow 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 Okay, next we have the Four of Swords. And I've already said the colour green is your heart chakra. And your heart chakra and the colour green talks about growth and harmony, balance, fertility and positivity, self-reliance, being self-assured. Um, and green is also talking about your environment. So I really feel that this is spirit asking you to take care of the environment that you are finding yourself in. In other words, what I'm hearing is this is you setting the tone. Um, oh, okay. 
I'm just being shown the two cat uh, trinkets from the other day. Um, and I'm hearing how, you know, cats, they, they start purring before you even, um, you, just bef just as you put your hand out and you haven't even stroked them, they start purring. And that's because they are setting the vibration, the frequency and the tone that the interaction will be met on. Um, so I, I'm hearing from spirit that uh, this is you making sure that your environment is... Um, is something that you absolutely vibrate with. Uh, swords, the element of air, sorry, um, we did coins, the element of earth. One's the element of fire, your dreams, goals, desires, your visions, your passions, your ambitions and your actions. And swords, the element of air, uh, your thoughts, your words, your communication. Well, here I see that you have put down your swords. This is you taking much needed um, rest breaks. Um, I'm hearing the words little and often um, as we are going through um, this time of transformation and change. And it is enormous. It is monumental. Um, it is a metamorphosis. Um, we are feel left feeling... Um, fatigued a lot um, and the message here is um, to take plenty of rest uh, eat well um, drink well drink lots of water eat lightly i am hearing um, and get plenty of rest uh, also it's important to be quiet in the mind that's why these swords are at rest so not allowing um, outside influences i am hearing um, other people's thoughts or maybe um the collective um, news, shall I put it that way? Um, if this is you, um, not paying any attention to any of that because you don't want to be distracted. Wow. Uh, no distractions, Spirit is saying. This is a time for you to be concentrating on you, your journey, where you are going and taking very good care of yourself. Little and often I am hearing. Wow. Okay. Next we will have a card from The Secret Language of Colour by Inner Seagull. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Thursday the 19th of May? Thank you. And of course your crown chakra, your connection to the creator, to the divine, to that wonderful source um, energy, that huge light and love um, and I do feel that uh, with this connection um, it is really opening up your creativity uh, so we're going from root chakra to crown chakra um, I'm feeling this is connection from um, from earth to heaven wow okay well let me lower the camera there we go we can just go up there slightly that's better and your colour for today is, oh, wow, you get number 29, grey. Learn to scan your body. Wow. Uh, up to a nine, becoming the wonderful number 11, the number of enlightenment. Okay, Lucy, I could really see you do it. This is just a personal journey story going on here. Uh, learning to scan your body, getting to know yourself. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. And of course, grey, that neutral colour. Grey identifies blockages in your body or aura, providing information about your mental, emotional and physical state. Use grey to give you an alternative point of view and provide you with strength when dealing with challenging situations that you feel are hopeless. The grey ray is a magnifying glass to blocked areas in your body. 
visualise or sense a grey ray, then ask it to assist you with scanning your body for any dysfunctions. Use it to bring any blockages or stuckness in your body into your awareness. Close your eyes, place your attention inside your body and ask the grey ray to circle any area that needs help and bring that area into your conscious awareness. Become aware if any part of your body looks or feels like it's grey. Once you have identified the blockages, <coughs> excuse me, once you have identified the blockages in your body, ask that part of your body what colour would be helpful in healing it. Then bathe it with that, that particular ray. Observe as greyness leaves your body and is replaced by, by vibrant rays of colour. And say, Divine Intelligence, please release all stuckness and limitation from my life so I can welcome freedom, creativity and well-being. So I do see you here taking these little and often breaks and taking these quiet times out, time for meditation. Also scanning your body, spirit is saying, removing those blockages so that... <clears throat> You can get those two wonderful um, energies, one from deep within Mother Earth and one from uh, from Creator, from Source Energy. Uh, and without those blockages, they'll be running through you like a like an alternating current. Wow, <laughs> electrifying you! I am hearing. Okay, next we will have. A card from the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards, also by Tori Hartman. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. And your Chakra Wisdom Oracle card is, <laughs> oh, you get miracle. You get the beautiful colour yellow. Um, yellow, your solar plexus, um, where happiness and uh, positivity reside, where clarity and optimism and enlightenment. This is more enlightenment. So I do feel, friends, from doing this little and often, uh, resting, uh, scanning your body, continuously removing uh, stuckness, stale energy, uh, negative energy, um, anything that you feel may be either poison or toxic, toxic um, you are going to remove it and then the energy is going to be flowing like that alternating current and when that happens, oh boy, do miracles occur. Okay. <clears throat> And miracle. Sun sparkler. Integrity is what turns on the light. Darkville is a town of self-centred people. One day, Betty is given too much change after making a purchase, and she returns the extra money. A brilliant light bursts from the stump of a dead oak tree in the centre of the town. The citizens are bewildered by the sudden brightness, but neither question the sun sparkler nor change their cheating ways. One day, a child asks it why it came, and it tells her that it shines for all that is good in the world and appears when a good deed occurs. The residents of Darkville are touched and become more selfless. The inspiration for you is, do you let someone in or do you pretend not to see them? You cannot shut out pain without shutting out pleasure. Kindness exists to lend magic to integrity. And your inquiry is, what is the essence of inspiration is in integrity and can I be counted on? And your key words are integrity, gifts and reward. Your meditation... Imagine a warm yellow light 
pouring down from the heavens. Stand directly under the vibrant energy as it showers over you. Allow all material worries to melt away. Oh, wow. Sun Sparkler will speak to you now. When you are finished, return to your normal consciousness and write down what you have heard. You're being a light, friends, lighting the way for others. And when you do that, oh, all the miracles are going to start pouring in like a rain shower of light. OK, well... Here we go. The Oracle of Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. And look what's on the bottom. <laughs> I just had to share that with you. Uh, have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. OK, here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? For Thursday, the 19th of May, 2022. What do my friends need to know, Ruby? What is the message from the kind red spirit? <laughs> for my wonderful friends. Wow. <laughs> so she's giving you miracles and also you get magic. <laughs> Make a wish. Believe in miracles because magic surrounds you. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, perfect, Ruby. Perfect, perfect. So... And in the book, magic comes before miracles. <laughs> Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. The unicorns and fairies have come together to remind you of your connection with magical beings. They invite you to ask for their combined support. A situation in your life may need an extra dash of fairy dust and a beam of unicorn light to help it resolve quickly and easily. Perhaps you've become lost in the outer world of logic and need to remember the power of magic and miracles that comes from within. Or this may simply be a joyful invitation to make a wish and know that you are surrounded by magic at this time. Call on the fairies and unicorns to remind you, to guide you and to help bring about an even higher outcome. Ask them to show you unmistakable signs that they are with you and spend time out in nature speaking with them. Call on them as a team, knowing that the lightness and fun of the fairies is the perfect complement to the loving energy of the unicorns. They whisper in your ear. Make a wish and believe it is already so. Believe in us. Believe in magic now and always. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Friends, another all over tingly reading. <laughs> thank you, Spirit, and thank you, Ruby. Wow. OK, well, let's go for a trinket or two or three or <laughs> oh, two. We have two today to gold so both the color of the sacred divine masculine and our first one is a rabbit um, i really feel letting us know that we are in a a new birthing time um, we are birthing um miracles uh, by using uh, magic um and we are restoring the the balance and uh, the harmony um and rabbits also re representing uh, growth, uh, love, speed is another word I'm also being given. Uh, this is going on your miracle card. 
and of course <laughs> traditionally we have our huge big butterfly uh, again letting us know that we are in this monumental metamorphosis this time of transformation and change um, and butterflies also um, connecting um, uh, heaven and earth uh, and, and can also represent messages from loved ones in spirit uh, where are you going the butterfly is going on ruby's magic card oh wow 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 so friends working on your root chakra remembering that grounding not just daily but as, as much through the day as you possibly can um crown chakra opening that crown chakra so you can fill yourself with that wonderful divine energy taking plenty of rest breaks little and often and scanning your body removing all of those um, blockages and obstacles so that we can get these two energies from heaven and earth running along each other like alternating currents when we do that um, the magic happens and miracles start appearing it just couldn't get any better than that friends could it <laughs> wow 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 well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome you subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.